One of the great things about the epistle to the Philippians is that this was one of Paul's very first convert groups. Okay. And they continued to be righteous. A lot of times with the epistles, we're seeing people that are falling off the track and need correction. The Philippians don't need that. They're still hmm. pressing forward. And so Paul is trying to say, here's the next step. Okay. So you've, you've got down the basics. You've learned how to start on the path of being a disciple of Jesus Christ. Now let me teach you how you become something new. And so Philippians gives us a really cool context of seeing how do we take that next step in discipleship. Now with Colossians, uh, it's a little bit different because Paul never met the Colossian saints. He was receiving a letter from another disciple of Jesus Christ saying, hey, can you write a letter that kind of helps these people out a little bit? Okay. And so Colossians is really cool because it's a, almost a form epistle. Mm. And it reads a lot like Ephesians. And so you've got these two epistles that are like, here's this, read it, and then give it to somebody else. It's not meant to be specific. But in the same vein as Philippians, it's here's some instruction about how to move forward from the basics of the gospel. How do you become something better than what you are now? And how do you take the next step in your discipleship?